Hey everybody, I'm Jordan with PDQ. We're here with step 17 of the Getting Started Guide. We've covered a lot of the information so far, but the next part we're going over is custom tools within PDQ inventory. So if you first open up inventory, you'll see we have a list of, on the menu here, we just go to custom tools. This is everything that we have pre-built. You can see we have shortcuts to there, but well, this is neat. It's not gonna cover everything you need, so we're gonna cover everything that goes into building your own. So I'm gonna come just new tool. Right, and on the main window here, you can see you can choose uh, command line or PowerShell. Uh, and then if you have the option, you obviously want to give it a name. Uh, the run type, local means it's going to run on this system. Uh, and then go over remotely. Uh, remote means you're going to go over connect to the machine. And system means it's going to open up and stay on this screen. So if you're doing something like an information on, say you're running a PowerShell script on who's logged in, system would be there because it just pop up and keep the window there. Uh, so depending on what you need, whether, where you're running from, when this we're going to do remote. Uh, then you can select to run as. This one's kind of important because it gives you a little bit more flexibility. Say if we're doing the PowerShell step and we want to do AppX packages, those are all uh, installed based on a per user basis. So if you have this set to run as logged on user, whoever's logged on is the information you're going to pull. We're going to keep PowerShell and then I'm just going to keep it simple to start. Uh, but we're going to do get dash epix package if I spell it right I'm not going to do anything specific there's a lot you can do with this one to find more detail but this should just get all of the epix installed for the machine we run this against all right uh, the next one if you need a specific code if you're expecting an error code that's where you uh, check that here credentials so un as opposed to what you're running this as this is the credentials it's going to use to do that so if I run as this one here, this is a domain admin. I can run as logged on. I have the permission to impersonate there. And then do you want to wake on LAN? That's up to you. And the last one is enter shortcut keys. So if you don't want to go and click the tool every time, you can give it a shortcut. I'm just going to say control shift M. I don't even know if that one's used or not. Name this one just AppX. So this is a very simple one. There's not a lot to it. It's just kind of a quick example of what you can uh, show. And then while we're running that, we'll kind of uh, cover some of the uh, options for that one. So we're going to come to Deadpool and hit Control shift m That's going to kick off our tool and it's going to run that Apex. While that's running, some other ideas, like if you have WizTree, which will help you find out the hardware breakdown or some other hardware, if it has a command line or an API you can access, you can, with the installer, use the custom tools to run that and you can get more uh, reports that way. You see here we got back there the results already and there's a lot of Apex on that one. Uh, that's where I'd want to remove that one, but this is where I went very broad. You can get more specific. It's just a quick way to grab specific information on the machine you're looking for. You can also add multiple machines if you are if you have that set to remote and it will go out to each one, run the same thing and get back that result. Well, that's a pretty quick breakdown for what goes into what is quite a powerful tool. Uh, I'd recommend playing, on that, playing around with that, finding out what works for you. Uh, we'll see you for the next step for PDQ. I'm Jordan.